Hey guys, Kaltorak here. Today, I want to bring you what I believe is the Mage Pre-Raid Best in Slot list for Phase 2 of Season of Discovery. This list will probably change as we get into the phase. We don't know what new items Blizzard's adding to the new crate rep, as well as what we could get from random new quests and stuff. This list is based off the current items we know are coming. I will have a link to a Fire and Arcane DPS list, but I will be maining Arcane for this phase. Starting with Helms, we have a few options. Rakumar's Tattered Thinking Cap is solid. There is the Arugal Shroud, a BOE Green Helmet. There are also Green Helms of Arcane Wrath and Fiery Wrath. I will probably be running Arcane Wrath in this slot, unless I'm really struggling with mana at the start of the phase. For next, best option is Jagged Bone Necklace. No contest here. Tree and Amulet would be the next best option, or plus 10 int green. For shoulders, Inquisitor Shawl is our best bet. It drops off High Inquisitor Fairbanks and SM Cath. For cloaks, we will be using a Fiery or Arcane Wrath, plus 14 damage. For chest, Cindercloth Robe will be the best bet for fire. There are quite a few good options though. Robes of the Magi is a BOE Blue World Drop, as well as Elemental Raiment. Elemental Raiment could be a very good item for farming, if we end up needing resistance for SM Armory or cast solo farms. Tailoring also has the Dreamweave Vest and Rogues of Power. I will probably be running Rogues of the Magi. For Bracers, Dryad Wrist Bracers for those that got exalted with Warsong Gulch. If not, you will be using either Fiery or Arcane Wrath, plus 14 damage. For Weapon, Rod of the Ancient Sleepwalker. If you aren't lucky enough to get this item, don't be too upset. We have a level 35 mage quest that rewards Celestial Stave. It's not as good as Rod, but it's a good enough filler item. If you got gold, you can buy Staff of Jordan. For gloves, it'll be Dreamweave gloves. They are pretty cheap to make, should be easy to get. For belt, we have the Highlander's Cloth Girdle. Assuming we get a Wrathy Basin next face, this requires Honored with their rep. For pants, Red Mage Weave Pants. Should be cheap and easy to get for anyone. For boots, Extra Planner are probably still pre-raid this. There's also South Sea Mojo boots from a Teneris quest, and Highlander's Cloth boots from Revered with a Rathi. For rings, we will be using the upgraded Lord Keeper ring from Silverwing Rep, and Signet of the Twilight Lord from BFD. For trinkets, nothing changes here as well. Invoker's Void Pearl and Rune of Perfection. For wands, we actually get really lucky here, but we have a tough choice. Mages have a level 40 quest that rewards spell damage wands. Ragefire Wand, Ice Fury Wand, and Nether Force Wand. While I kind of want to take Ragefire Wand for Living Bomb Dungeon Farming, I will be taking the Arcane Wand. Pick whichever one is your preferred spec though. Okay, that's my list. I'll have a link to the 60 upgrades of these setups below. If you think I missed anything important, please let me know down in the comments below. Reminder that this list will likely be slightly different come phase launch. We just don't know what new items we're getting yet. Anyways, if you found it helpful, please like and subscribe. I'll be live streaming here on YouTube for the launch of Phase 2. Come check it out. Cheers, boys.